Narrative 3.5 is now out and it adds common UI support to the plugin and that means really good gamepad support. So I'm using an Xbox controller here. If I walk up to these NPCs, you can see I have prompts with the gamepad I'm using. I can navigate with the gamepad. If I start using a keyboard or mouse, it will just seamlessly switch between the two. So it's a really good upgrade to the plugin. It does have quite a few changes, so I'd only recommend upgrading if you really need it. If your project's really far into development and you don't really care about the features, I, I probably wouldn't upgrade. But this tutorial will show you how to upgrade if you want to. So the old narrative tutorial is still very much current. The only thing that has changed is how you add the UI to the screen. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video, how to add the new UI to the screen. This is the old finished project. We're here in the finished project. We're going to go to plugins and you will need narrative 3, 3.5 and narrative common UI 1.5. So make sure you have both of the latest versions of uh, both of these. And now I'm going to show you how to fix it. So if you upgrade, you'll notice that it won't work anymore. So I'm going to show you the new way to add the UI to the screen. It's not very hard. The first thing we have to do is set up narrative common UI. So we'll do that. It's very easy. Common input settings. Narrative input data. Under platform input, we're going to go and add two controller data. We're going to add keyboards. And also I want to use gamepad support. So I'm going to add gamepad Xbox. And you do have to change this to generic as well. And the last thing is just search for viewports and you want to turn on the common game viewport client. That's all you need to do to set up narrative common UI. So narrative common UI is now set up and go ahead and click restart now. All right, we're back in the project. So let me show you how to add the UI using the new method now. So we're going to go to user interface, widget blueprint, and we'll just make a, a nice piece of HUD for our game. So I'll just call this WBP HUD. All games that you will make will generally have something like this, a piece of HUD. And to your game's HUD, you want to add the narrative HUD widget. So WBP narrative HUD, drag that on there. And there's this other one as well, narrative three overlay. You want to drag one of those on as well. Oh, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click that and go to wrap with canvas panel. You want to put a canvas panel on here. That's very important. And Click on the narrative harder, just make sure it takes up the whole screen by setting the anchors and then drag your narrative three overlay on to the canvas panel as well. And you'll see it pop up here. So this is kind of what the narrative three overlay will look like. Again, we're going to do the same thing. We want to make it sort of take up the whole screen. And all right, let's try that. I'd recommend probably put the HUD in front of the overlay because the HUD is going to host all of your common UI menus. Um, and you generally want, if a menu opens up, you generally want it to show up in front of the overlay. So we'll go to the third person controller. And now we're going to create our HUD. Can disconnect that. And we'll just right click this and promote to variable and just call this HUD. Okay. Compile, save. Oh, make sure you plug that in as well. File save. So all you have to do to get it working with common UI, it's just slightly different. Click on narrative and go down to on dialog began. And when the dialog begins, we're going to grab our HUD. We're going to get the narrative HUD that we have on it. And we're going to open a menu up. And if you have the latest version of narrative, one of the menus you will have available is the narrative menu dialog. So basically we're just saying when a dialogue begins, open the dialogue menu, quite a simple thing. So we'll compile, save and try this out. Should work straight away. Yeah. And you'll know that you're using um, the latest version because you'll have all of these lovely little prompts. And I don't actually have a gamepad plugged in right now, but if I started using a gamepad, it would seamlessly switch out to gamepad controls as well. So that's how you upgrade to the latest version. It's quite simple. And yeah, happy upgrading. And I'll see you in the Discord if you need any help.